Stop looking for a job. Stop looking for a job. You heard me right. Here's the problem with looking for a job. When you are looking for a job, when you look, when you, when your focus is just finding a job, you are focusing on short-term goals. Landing a job is not an event. When you have your system right, landing a job typically is not an event. And when you focus on just landing a job, when the market is changing, when the demand is changing, when the industry is changing, at some point, when you just focus on landing a job, landing a job is becoming more and more challenging because you focused in the past on short-term goals, how to land a job. And that's it. You did not focus or you haven't focused on your career as a whole. You haven't focused on your executive presence. You haven't focused on your networking. You haven't focused on self-development and bettering yourself as an engineer, as a person, as a professional. You're not, you weren't climbing that mountain, right? You weren't going anywhere, essentially. You might got better positions, a little bit better money, and a little bit better salary. You might even change your title. But if your focus was just landing a job and is not sustainable, and right now, right now, what I am seeing when I talk to a lot of people, um, a lot of engineers, I normally hear that before the layoffs, um, I just put my resume on uh, Dice or Indeed and I just got an interview and I got a job. Or somebody would just connect with me on LinkedIn and I got a job. Now I'm applying for like 40, 100 positions and nobody like, no, nobody, yet, no, nobody picks up my resume. I think my resume is a problem. I think uh, my LinkedIn is a problem. I think uh, I'll, I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, no, no, nobody's hiring me and uh, it's been months. And what is shocking to me, like, and like really heartbreaking to me, right? That some, some of the really, really good engineers were looking for a job like 12 months, 18 months, over anything over six months is a little bit alarming. And it like, this is sad. This is why I say stop focusing on lending a job because when you just focus on lending a job, this is what you have in the more competitive market with a higher competition, with a like, with a higher applicants, because everybody is focusing on lending a job right now, and so there's a theory, there's a blue ocean theory, and there's a red ocean theory. If you haven't, if you, if you have not heard that, so blue ocean is a ocean when uh, it, basically there's no competition, like you have, you have, you have big fish in a small pond and. Uh, you, you, your like the resources are available to you. Nobody is fighting over resources. So this is this is blue ocean, red ocean. And the, when there's a lot of fish and uh, everybody is fighting uh, each other for resources and for food. Essentially, it's a business. It's a business theories. It, it's actually there's a book on that. Now, it's related to business, but it's also related to software development and like career development because. Um, when you are doing exactly the same thing that everybody else is doing, you are in red ocean. And if you have not communicated your value correctly, right? If you don't stand out, if you don't niche down, then here, here's a problem. Like this is why it is really hard and all and for some people nearly, it feels like it's nearly impossible to land a job. This is why I say stop focusing on landing a job. Instead, start focusing on 
building your community or networking, in other words, building your community, finding people, finding like-minded people and connecting with them. Start focusing on executive presence. Start focusing on investing in yourself. Because here's the thing. When you invest in yourself, you grow. When you invest in yourself and you are serious about it and you're investing in terms of finances, in terms of the time, in terms of the commitment, because it, invest in, investing in yourself, it's not just spending money on educational resources, on coaching and educational programs. It is a commitment to yourself. So when you are invested, when you are uh, investing in yourself, your level of sophistication, how you communicate, how you stand up, how you present yourself changes. I can attest to that because I um, I am in um, I, I'm I, I am in one coaching program um, dedicated to LinkedIn. I also have a personal coach that we're working one on one together. And before that, I also uh, took um, kind of introductory uh, like three day like three day seminar. And what, what, how it changed my perspective and how to change my life is my level of sophistication, how I communicate my value, like jump through the roof. And uh, my coaches, they're not like, they're not even teaching technical skills, you know, software development skills. They teach how to communicate your value, how to run your business, all, all of that. And that is that investment in myself investment in my growth helped me to land a job because the level i communicate my value i talk to people i talk to people differently i approach people differently that's that that, that just through the roof and that stands out because not many people talk this way not many people communicate their value this way and this is what will happen to you when you invest in yourself, when you invest in your skill set, your level of sophistication, how you communicate your value jumps through the roof. And people start hearing you because you're different. And you stand out from the people who are not working on themselves, who are not investing in self-development, who are not investing in bettering themselves. Like your level of sophistication like jumps through the roof. I, I can attest that. I see in my clients when they how they communicate it when they before joining my program and how they communicate after. And it it it's just amazing. So and this is why I offer y'all my coaching program. And uh I Keep talking about it, but I don't think I have a video when I really truly break it down into details. So let's break it down into details, okay? So my coaching program is 12 weeks. We are meeting every week and uh, we're starting with building your, uh, like fixing, fixing the obvious, fixing the obvious that ain't fixed yet. Your LinkedIn profile, if you think that your LinkedIn profile is it's fine. Think again. Like majority of the time when I start working with clients, their LinkedIn profile is not fully optimized. It's just not. It just ain't. It just ain't. Uh, digital presence. If you think that your digital presence is 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 fine, like that, that you're present digitally and like you didn't need to do anything else there, like think again. Like I, I, I can find a lot of improvements where clients can improve because if you think that you're digitally present, if you think that, that your digital presence is just fine, why are you not landing a job? Why is nobody coming to you? So like, think about it. So like, if it's, if it is a problem, we need to fix that. Right? So like, this is the obvious, right? Like we fix really quickly, probably in, a, in a, what in one session or two, the very obvious things. And I teach you how to network only in how to find people quickly, how to connect with people. So they quickly accept your connection request. And, uh, I, I, we are leveraging more than just search bar. So 
like that, that building, the obvious, the, uh, those obvious things that are typically missing. And also, like, this is where your executive presence starts, by the way. When you start communicating your value on that, on that very different level of sophistication in your resume and in your LinkedIn profile, in your experience section, that will make a difference. That will make a difference because my client, one of my clients, uh, before we worked on her uh, LinkedIn profile and resume, right, before she fixed it, right, we, start, we started working right away, but before she fixed it fully, she would get a lot of objections from her hooters like, oh yeah, but like you don't miss in this. Oh yeah, but I don't think it's the right fit. Right now, it's just like, oh yeah, like this is great. Okay, let me see, let me see what I can do. So we eliminated objections and barriers at the recruiter level. This is good. So after that, um, technical skills, right? Uh, technical skills. Technical skills is not your problem, but technical skills sometimes, a lot of the times, need like closing the gaps and needs improvement. We work on technical skills. We like, and when I say we work on technical skills, we work how to prepare for a technical interview. I do not do lead code questions. I do not do lead code questions. I do, however, teach you how to think, how to think, how uh, how to think, uh, how uh, oh, think as a solution provider. Think as a problem solver because you are a solution provider and you're a problem solver. And I'm teaching you how to approach those challenging without jumping into uh, without jumping into solution first and actually start solving the problem from head first and then break it down and go through the problem and solving it. And it might seem that it take it may uh, it may take you more time but actually when you start breaking it down and you actually start asking the right questions your solution your answer might be more evident to you or obvious to you so technical skills and um and then we are work like we 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 are working on content creation too because you have to stand out online and uh, when it comes to content, it can be written content, it can be written posts on, uh, on LinkedIn, it can be video. I, I'm a huge advocate for video content, huge advocate for video content, because when you show up your face, you start developing no love and trust factor. No love and trust factor. So that, 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 that is important. So that's another thing that we are, uh, that we are covering. When I'm teaching you how to negotiate your salary, because I said it before and I say it right now, uh, when you're talking to the agency, there's one, uh, there's one strategy how to negotiate your salary. And it's probably short and sweet. They, and uh, normally there's not too, there's not much room to negotiate, because like they have their numbers, they know what they can do exactly. But when it comes to full-time opportunities, right? When it comes to more corporate recru recruiters and like after you finish the um, loops, multiple rounds of interviews, then uh, it's probably, it's a little bit more challenging. It's a little bit more nuanced and it's, it's important to come correct and it's important to tackle that correctly too. And when you combine your executive presence, your right digital presence, your network, your skill set, right? And you prepare for the interview. Your knowledge gaps close as, 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 close, as many knowledge gaps close as possible. Then you are landing better jobs. Then people are coming to you. Then be and then you are leveraging your network. Then you have better chance of landing a job. And this is what this is what I do at my program. Build your digital front door. Teach how teach how like the right type of content to put out there. Because also, like, it's a, like you can put out your content, you can post all day long, but if your content is not landing, if your executive presence is not there, like nobody sees it and nobody reacts on it, right? And like, you're not moving people with your content. 
you, you got to move people and you're not content creation. Like I don't care about likes and shares and stuff like that. We're not, we, we don't care about that. We care about attracting the right people to our network. This is the, this is the sole reason, the sole purpose of your content creation, not be famous on Instagram, not be famous on LinkedIn, not be famous on YouTube, attract the right people, the right opportunities to you. And like in digital era, like you, you, you gotta put yourself out there. You just gotta, you just gotta, like, it's not negotiable and technical skills. So the link for my coaching, uh, for mini coaching session, to see if it's the right fit, ask all the questions you have is in the description for this video. Uh, I, if you, if, if we have not connected on LinkedIn yet, I highly recommend you to send me a connection request and we can go from there. You can also grab your mini coaching session there too. Uh, I have three spots of the, uh, I, uh, yeah, I have three spots available right now as we speak. Um, so grab your spot, grab your mini coaching session and let's go. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.